Pride is about celebrating, but it is also about remembering. Remembering the journey and the sacrifices that have been made by millions to bring us this far. Remember too that complacency is the enemy of progress. Because what you have achieved, what we have achieved, was started not by our generation, but by thousands of generations before. Women and men who stood up were counted. Women and men who stepped away from the safety of the closet and from being anonymous. Women and men who said, if you attack that child for being lesbian, gay, bisexual, or trans, you attack me too. And those women and men gave not only their liberty, but in some instances, their lives. And it's because of them we have the rights that we have today. I really, really uh, happy and proud that I have so many friends on my side and on the side of equality, and uh, and they believe that uh, the changes will come soon. This is time when you have to be free, free of uh, inequality, of free of um, and to be ourselves and I saw how people react to these stories and stories were so inspiring I even start, start just a little crying because personal stories were so touching and nobody was uh, not reacting because I saw how many uploads was uh, in the Russian theater. Discrimination of minority has so far never contributed to solve any of the problems humanity are facing on this planet, not historically, not today, and will not do in the future. This should be so easy to understand, but obviously so very difficult for humanity to handle. Prejudice, prejudges, breeds discrimination. Discrimination breeds fear. Fear breeds hate and anger. Anger breeds violence. That's why respecting diversity is so extremely important. And you know, respect means respectare, look again. Stop and think, don't be dismissive, try to accept. Whenever you face diversity, use your ability to reflect without prejudices. Whenever you face 
diversity. It's really that easy. And we should tell stories. We should tell more stories. Stories of real people. People living together without being protected by the state. People unrecognized by the state and by society. Not just gay people, also straight people raising children together without being married. Telling those stories, telling about the daily fragility of our lives together, if we do not adhere to that one correct model of the family, could be the way forward. And we can change it. And I think we should change it. Well, I had the chance a few years ago of uh, meeting La Diva Live and she's a wonderful artist I enjoy every time I see her videos, her shows and she told, she told me about this, this bride and I said of course I want to be there with you and, and I think that it's very important that all the LGBT organizations around the world fight for our rights, fight against homophobia and I think that we the artists have character that we give us uh, we give our face we give our art and, and we decided to do it as a woman so this is visibility and this is very important nowadays uh, because there are people very young that sometimes feel in a different way and sometimes maybe our character our art help them to to find a way to, to accept themselves. The most important message, I think it's always the same, we have to fight against uh, homophobia because uh, sadly yeah, it's one of the most important um, things in the world that uh, don't let people grow as they want, don't let people be, uh, gay people I mean, be as they want to be and, and this is I think one of the, the most important messages that we have to say when we are in pride. Be yourself and be free to be yourself. And this was really, really emotional moment when people stood up and applauded for, uh, for our show, uh, for, for who, who did this show. And I'm really, really happy. <laughs>